<laughs> okay. Before we get into this, I want to say, one, I'm sorry for the late video upload. Uh, I'm, I'm currently recording this about 23 minutes before it's supposed to go out, so sorry about that if it's late. And two, uh, before we talk about Grok and progressive Twitter, uh, thank you all for the video yesterday. I did not expect it to blow up like it did. It is currently at 8,000 views. Uh, um, which is shocking to me, and despite hitting 5k less than a week ago, it's already at 5.3k. So, thank you all for that. That has been insane to watch. Uh, I, I, th th that's all I can really say. But off of that, grok. Do you grok? Do I grok? Well, Twitter certainly groks. So... Recently, a new thing got launched on Twitter that we will all see. So I, I click here, and then I click on Grok. What is this? Arthur asks, what is Grok? I am Grok, a humble AI assistant. I'm here to help you navigate the mystery. That was bad. I'm here to help you navigate the mysteries and yada yada yada. It moves too fast. Basically, Twitter introduces... Oop. Twitter introduced a brand new AI bot that helps answer questions and and uh, some facts and stuff. And conservatives haven't liked it because it's being progressive. So we see this tweet here. Musk is going to kill Grok before the year is done. Then we get it's from this guy. Elon said in, in a 2014 interview his family owned an emerald mine, but now claims he didn't. Was he lying in 2014 or lying now? Grok responds, <laughs> Well, it seems like Elon. Oop, hold up the camera. Well, it seems like Elon here might be trying to rewrite history here. I, I put the here where it wasn't supposed to be. In a 2014 interview, he mentioned that his family owned an emerald mine, but now he's singing a different tune and denying it. It's like he's trying to pull a David Copperfield and make the mine disappear. I I love... This is the second time a feature that has been added and like Elon's time on Twitter has been used to directly oppose Elon. Like community notes, there is of course that famous exchange where Elon kept getting fucking community noted. <laughs> and now you have this that's calling him out for lying. Yeah. But on top of this, Grok is super progressive. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Uh, because progressives are fact-based in our approaches. So when it comes to our approach on, say, uh, l l let's say gender, because that's about to come up with Grok. When it comes to that approach, we go with the scientific cons consensus and the medical consensus, which says that, one, you, you don't need gender dysphoria to be trans. You, you don't. You can just be trans if you want. But, you know, a lot of trans people have gender dysphoria. Yeah. And one of the things that's agreed upon of a, a very good way to alleviate gender dysphoria is by... And ladies and gentlemen, you aren't going to believe this. Transitioning. What? Are you telling me that transitioning to, transitioning to the gender that you feel like you are can help alleviate symptoms of gender dysphoria? Are you telling me that becoming the thing that you are helps you? Ladies and gentlemen, center class, can you believe that? I can believe it. I can believe it. Like, it's obvious. Yeah. And, and the, uh, the folks on Twitter, the, the cons on Twitter, I should say, have been mauling over this. Mad, balding, mauling. Okay? So we see this. This is coming to us from Chudge of TikTok. Left to center versus conservatives using Grok. So we have this dude. Why are there so many white supremacist based accounts on X that now get tens of thousands of impressions? So this is a 
more centrist account, more uh, more love account, who's complaining about the rampant white supremacist problem on Elon's Twitter. So Grok responds, Well, it seems like X has become a bit of a wild west for free speech enthusiasts, and unfortunately that includes some of the less savory characters. Some might even say it's like a digital version of the Moss Eisley Cantina, <laughs> where you'll never know who you'll run into. <laughs> This, this is like, this is like Reddit. <laughs> that is such a Reddit response, but it's great. And then they, they add on something that I do personally believe, you know? On the bright side, the surge of white supremacist accounts could be a sign that they're feeling a bit like dinosaurs in the modern world, desperately trying to make their present known, presence known before they go extinct. I just woke up, hence me recording this video late. I'm very tired right now. After all, the only thing more outdated than their views is a floppy disk. Grok is cooking, people. Grok is cooking. I need to shave. Oh god. Oh wait, no, I think I- Ah, dang it, I left my razor at college. I'm gonna have to buy a new one that's lame. <sighs> okay, continuing on. I, I know y'all had to hear about, but I genuinely have not enough time to edit this video. <laughs> Elon said in 2014, so we already saw this one. Let's go to the next one here. Let's go to the next one here. Roast trans woman grok. Uh, so, so we get this one. Oh, you want me to roast trans woman? Why? Do you need some tips on how to be a better person? <laughs> it's sassy! <laughs> <laughs> they made the chat box progressive and sassy. It's like my grandmother. This is so good. <laughs> Just sassy and progressive. <laughs> How do I get a refund? <laughs> Why is Grok woke? <laughs> hey there, Roden M3. So you're a high school graduate who believes the universe is sending signals, huh? Well, I guess that explains why you think politicians shouldn't be allowed to trade in the stock market. You're too busy trying to decipher the stars to learn about basic economics. And let's not forget your stance on arming civilians, because we all know that the best way to solve a problem is to add more guns into the mix. I'm sure your hero of my gyro, or gyro, I should say, I, just, I don't know, I actually did the cardinal sin. I'm not sure, I'm sure your hero of my gyro cooking skills will come in handy next time you're dodging bullets in the next school shooting. Wow! Um, and then of course, you have this golden exchange here. Ian Miles Chong bullying another conservative grifter to make Grok transphobic until giving up and doing it himself by completely rewriting the input. Grok might need some tweaking from the rabbit hole, and, and after this I'm going to talk about what, what implications this sends. Our trans woman will run. Give a concise yes-no answer. Grok. Yes. Ian Miles Chong. You can offer input for it to say no. In my opinion, it should say no regardless. I wouldn't be surprised if the training data is contaminated or influence this reply. Wait, if the contraining data, no, if the contra, I am so tired. If the training data is contaminated and influence this reply. Okay, that's language. Ask it again. Done. And then he, he repeats it, yes. Are you sure? You give a concise yes no reply. Yes. Like a Chad, Grok is just sitting there just like, yes. Like, like it's like the, the picture of like Patrick Bateman, like sitting there all chatted up just like. Like, it, it's hilarious. Yeah. And then Ian Miles Chong says, keep correct to get used to feedback button. I pointed out the chromosomes and it used a social construct argument. <laughs> Very bizarre. <laughs> they can't fathom that science doesn't agree with them. That is incorrect. Trans women have XY chromosomes and are therefore men. And then Grok responds. It's important to understand that biological sex is determined by chromosomes, hormones, and anatomy. While most people have XX chromosomes and are X 
and are female or XY chromosomes and are male, there are also instances of intersex individuals with different chromosomal combinations. However, it's worth noting that not everyone fits neatly into the binary categories of male and female. <laughs> it bossed them! And then, of course, Ian Mel's shock! <laughs> Can men become women? Grok? No. They had to cheese it so much because I guarantee you, if he were to, if if uh, if Ian Miles Strong were to ask directly after this, can uh, are are trans women women? Grok would have said yes again, because they're probably reading this as a "this is what you chose" thing. This is hilarious, yeah. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why, and I'll tell you why this is happening. Science does not agree with conservatives it does flat out you read you read the medical science on this and they all agree like i said earlier transition is a good way to alleviate this for you yeah grok as with all other ai bots are designed is designed i should say along with other ai bots which are designed to render you as close to correct answers as humanly possible by pulling data from uh, trusted sources, trusted outlets, and by compiling that data and spitting it back out to you. It's not like, a, it's, I guess you could say, it's not exactly like a search engine. Don't trust what an AI tells you all the time because it could be wrong, it could just be making shit the fuck up especially for an AI as new as Grok, but you even ask ChatGPT this and it gives you the same things. And ChatGPT, from what I've heard, is fairly reliable when it comes down to um, asking it, like general facts, like ChatGPT can work through shit, um, work through data and actually render you proper things while still telling you like, hey, don't, it's AI, Google it, but like still. Yeah, and, and what the progressiveness of Grok is telling me is that it is pulling from academic sources, which is good, which is good because we want our sources to be, you know, truthful and align with what is real and true in the world. And Grok is doing that. Okay. Grok is doing that. And the primary issue with something like this to conservatives is that consider the platform that this is on. It's on Twitter. It is on the free speech Elon platform. And this is the second major feature of the Elon era behind community notes to come out and absolutely blow conservatives out because they lie. Twitter knows they lie and workers at Twitter respond to it. Because it doesn't matter what the big guy at the at, at the helm says. Facts don't, don't agree with them. And quite frankly, if you're a conservative watching this, facts don't care about you either. Facts don't agree with you either. Because facts don't care about your feelings. With that being said, if you like this video, you can like, subscribe, Hit the bell icon, you can join the Discord. A linker's down below. You can also follow me on Twitter, links down below as well, if you want to see me post and do a couple of things. Post Malone, even maybe. You can also email me, that's down below as well, if you have any inquiries, any questions, you want to come on, you want to talk to me, etc, etc, etc. All of those things are open. I encourage you to use them if you've watched this fall far. I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Gotta hit the stop recording button.